What's up guys? So AMD just released Adrenaline 20.11.1 drivers and they've listed support for Dirt 5, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Godfall Performance Boost, though the game's not out, and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And under known issues, they've pretty much some of the same stuff that they still haven't fixed. But at least the list looks shorter, but it's a bit weird they haven't listed fixed issues. for Because I'm sure there was a longer list of fixed issues in the last 20.10.1. Uh, so that's a bit weird, but nothing else of note here. I pretty much just done my standard testing. Like I said, I was going to run Heaven and the Metro Exodus bench benchmark to make sure that there's no strange performance bugs or crashing, at least on my end. And I've just loaded up my normal performance plan that I've done in all the driver updates. I just load up my base clock uh, voltage, which is an undervolt. But by default, it, it defaults to like one volt, like uh, 1000 MV. So I mine is just a little bit of an undervolt and a custom fan profile. So it's it's nothing that anyone else can't do. So long story short, I just installed over the top. I'm on 20.11.1 as you can see here. And I've done the heaven benchmark. So this is 20.10 on the left and 20.11 on the right. And the results are within margin of error. There was no weird, you know, stutter or anything like that. No crashing, ran fine first time. And I've also ran the Metro Exodus benchmark, which is here. So you can just see the previous and current. Just a single. There we go. So 2410, 2020, this was the 20.10.1 drivers. And you can just see the average results for average max and min. And it's within margin of error. It was like a tiny, tiny bit higher on the previous drivers but again it's only one run it's not three not best of three or average of three so within margin of error i would say and the benchmark as you can see by the frame time graph they both had the same tiny you know transition spike here but nothing out of the ordinary the uh, the, the benchmark ran fine uh, i recorded with radeon relive which i've been doing for all these videos so at the same time as testing these games uh, in doing this video that i'm that i'm uploading to you guys, I'm also testing that the Relive hasn't broken itself because, you know, that's the thing with NVIDIA uh, back on my old NVIDIA GPUs that uh, NVIDIA share would just randomly break and it would stop working between driver updates. And I encountered that on my 1070 and my 1070 Ti that I used to run at and the 1060 actually, that it would just randomly stop working. And then like two driver updates later, it magically fix itself. And that's like nothing on my system had changed at those times. So I've been like waiting for it to happen with AMD, but ever since I got this RX 700, the Relive has been solid. Uh, so if, you, if I go in here, these are my Relive settings and they stay between driver updates because I don't do factory reset, I just do over the top. And yeah, these are the settings I'm running and what I'm recording with right now in this video. So basically set here, 60 FPS, HEVC, 69 MB, uh, max bit rate for audio, and yeah. So this is also a real life test. Uh, I could run a game at the same time. I don't think it's going to affect the stability because I've been doing the same thing. Like my last Death Stranding video that I've uploaded, that was on 20.10.1. And any future videos that I do after today are going to be on the new drivers. So if there's an issue, I'll be sure to like bring it up. I'll probably make a full video on it if the, if the driver just started crashing for whatever reason. But if you don't see me uploading driver issue videos, it means that the drivers have been working fine is you'll just see gameplay videos instead, uh, or benchmarks or whatever. So yeah, that's that, and thanks for watching, guys. See ya.